Daniel. My name is Andries Kutsia. I'm coming from South Africa. This is my fiance Jacqueline Nasser. Um, and this is our baby boy Ethan Kutsia. The thing that brought me to Senegal Church of All Nations is addictive drugs, cigarettes, drinking. I smoked for 22 years, drink for 22 years. In between that, use drugs as a habit in the morning, afternoon, when you want to go to bed, you want to use drugs, you sleep. Abusive words to my fiance. I met her three years, three and a half years ago. And uh, things weren't good with us. I never wanted to go to church. I never wanted to talk to God or talk to anybody. I just was being myself, do my work, being aggressive to colleagues, work colleagues, and especially to the ones that's close to you. I have uh, done it for 22, and a, 22 years and eight months. I have even bruises, marks all over my body that, I've, that I can show you as I've been drinking and getting aggressive. Okay, so since uh, at what age did you start smoking, drinking alcohol? Since the age of 16, from 15, 16, in between there. So that's how many years now? That's about 23 years, exactly. Okay, you say you have some scars on your body. Can you yeah. show us and tell us how these scars came about? This is uh, alcohol. The, this big one is alcohol, aggressiveness. I get annoyed. I, I just want to fight and for no reason. It's just like the devil is in your back of your mind saying you have to do this, you have to, he's pressing you. So yeah, uh, this one is beer and drinking. This one is smoking weed. This one here is more than 17 stitches, but it's also drugs that I've been used. This one in my leg, on my leg here was about two years ago. Got and wait in the house. I wanted to make flower with my fiance, and uh, I took my clothes out of the drawer and I started tearing it with a knife, and uh, it was bad. And I started abusing her plenty. So, so, so what, what happened? How did you get that injury? I stepped on the pants and I wanted to cut it with a knife. So the knife didn't go to the pants; it went straight to my leg. Hmm. So. We, after taking uh, alcohol? After taking alcohol. Mm. So you say you smoke cigarette and you smoke what? Wheat. Wheat. Wheat, wheat, yeah. So each time you smoke, I mean, how, how does it make you feel? How did, does, how did that affect your life generally? Well, it affects the ones close to me the mostly because the annoyedness, the abusing, everyday fighting, bad temper, it's affecting them. And myself, it affected me, bad way. Okay, so how did the miracle happen? My fiance has got a friend in Ghana. We asked her to, one day I said to my fiance, please, can you get us, ask your friend for a package, maybe just one package from Senegal Church of All Nations. So my fiance spoke to them. How, how did you? get to know about the synagogue church of all nations i started looking on uh, where dstv so i changed to channel 303 on dstv and i saw emmanuel tv and i saw prophet tv joshua praying and i saw all this great testimonies coming and people being healing and i and i said i want to change my life to god because the way i'm moving is not a way of god it's the way of the devil did you at any time try to stop these um, dangerous habits, smoking, taking weeds and uh, alcohol? Yeah, more than seven times a day, but nothing. Mm. Absolutely nothing. Not at all. So when you saw Emmanuel TV, what happened? When I saw Emmanuel TV, I saw all these good testimonies coming from, from all the people and you see people that's getting healed and you see people that's getting cured and deliverance coming through. That's when I started to talk to my fiance and to say, I, I need to change my life. 
because my life is in a, in a wrong di direction. So uh, after asking a friend to get us anointing water and the package, we got it on Tuesday and we started to pray and we started to anoint ourselves. And we went on our knees and I said, the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua, if you are there, please listen to me and please help me and answer my prayers as I do not want to be the same person. So you've never been here before? Uh, never. Wow. So you requested for the, uh, the package of the morning water and after praying with the morning water, the miracle happened. Tell us how this addiction finally stopped. Well, on Tuesday, we, we got it. We start praying, we're using it. We went on our knees. I start reading the Bible. I said, please God of Prophet TV Joshua, please listen to my prayers. Please answer my prayers. I know you are annoyed with me for the wrongdoings in my life, but I know I can change my life around because with you, all things are possible. Nothing is impossible. So I said to, to my fiance, it's better to use it. Wow, we can see the emotional expression there. And we all believe this is born out of great joy of a deliverance from a bondage of so many years. So, uh -huh, after the prayer? After the prayer, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I start feeling itching on my body. After we took the CD of Prophet TV Joshua, the way he prophesies, we put it in and we start listening to the word. And we went on our knees and we touched the TV with our hands. And I said, and my fiance said, please, the God of Prophet TV Joshua, turn our lives around because it's only you that can do it for us. Nobody else can do it because only God is the one that can do good things in your life. But yourself, you can't do any good things. So I started to itch badly. More than 30 to 40 minutes, I started to itch on my body. And I, I said to my fiance, I'm not feeling well. There's something wrong. I don't know what's going on. So we went to the room. I take out all my clothes. I put on new clothes. I thought it was the clothes. I said, no, something is really wrong. And I put on the clothes and I still itch. And I went to the back of the door and I start scratching my back because my back was itching and all over was itching. So after the 45 minutes of itching, I went down on my knees and I started to pray and I said, God, please tell me what is happening because I do not know what's happening with myself. So uh, I have some photos that I took or my fiance took when, when it happened during, during a time. Okay, so after the, the itching, uh, what then happened? That's the best part of everything. After the itching, I went down on my knees, I prayed. After praying, I went to the porch because I usually smoke and drink on the porch. So I went and sat on the porch. I took the cigarette. As soon as I light it, I put it in my mouth. I said, something is not tasting well. So I throw a cigarette down. And it's more than two months now that I do not touch beer. I do not touch alcohol and no cigarettes, no drugs, nothing. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So you have some, uh, some pictures to show us there. And uh, we'd like you to explain what, 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 what is that thing we can see in the picture. This was just after the CD. Mm -hmm. It was just after the CD when I start scratching. Mm. And I had scratch on the back of and in the front. That's only one photo. The other one... If you can turn, you can see. So you, you didn't understand what was itching all over your body? Nothing. Nothing at all. And the moment, the moment the itching stopped, you mean that was the end of the urge to smoke and drink? That was the end of everything, really. That was no taste for cigarettes. I didn't look at beer. I didn't want to drink nothing. I just want to tell God, thank you. Shall we clap for Jesus Christ? Can we hear a word or two from your fiance? My name is Jacqueline Nasser. I'm from Liberia. And this is my fiance. And this is my little baby boy. 
Ethan Kusie. Yeah, my fiance has already explained all. Since I met him three years ago, he been smoking a lot. That day he smoked like four to three packets a day of cigarette. Sometimes, even I get annoyed with him, I say, please leave the cigarette because it's not good for you, it's not good for your health. He said, oh, leave me, leave me, you know, just like that. Sometimes, even if we don't have money, we have to go and borrow the cigarette to the nearest shop just mm. for him to smoke. Mm. So it was really bothering me. But I said, I just gave all to God. Mm. God is in control. So uh, last year, uh, November, we were watching Imaira TV. So I've been seeing a lot of testimony, a lot of, lot of good goodness of God, you know, through this ministry. So I said, always, I told him, I said, we should be watching Imaya TV. So every night, every morning, we watch Imaya TV. And then we pray along with Prophet TV Joshua. So one day, I called my friend. I said, it would be better for us to get a package. Because through the morning water, I see a lot of people, they get their deliverance. So I believe that we will have our deliverance too. I asked one of my friends in Ghana, and then she helped. She came here and she got one package for us. So she sent it for us. And as God could have it, we got it. So it was on a Tuesday, we started to minister the water on us. I ministered on him first, and then I ministered myself and our baby. So we started praying just like that. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we watched the CD. As we were watching the CD, we touched, we put our hand on the string, and then I just saw my fiance, he started to itch for like 40, 30, 30 to 45 minutes. So I said, but baby, what is going on? He said, myself, I don't know, I'm confused. So I said, okay, so then let's go in the room because we had guests in the house. So I said, let's go in the room. Let me minister the anointing water on you. So we went in the room, he took all his clothes and he said, no, maybe it's this, the clothes that doing this, maybe it ain't wash good. I said, I don't think so. I think it's your deliverance. So that he, he took all his clothes and then I started spraying. I said, you demon, you, I said, flush out in the name of Jesus. Flush out in the name of Jesus. You demon, whatever that not belong in this valley, flush out in the name of Jesus. And then we started praying, praying. I said, the God of Prophet TV Joshua, I know this is our deliverance in Jesus' name. So I started spraying, he's praying, and then that how he came to himself, and then we prayed. So, and, and since then? Yes, yeah, since then, he stopped the cigarette. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? <laughs> the next day, my baby fell sick. His stomach started running. His stomach started running, and then I had, I took him, we took him to the hospital. A sticker, I put it in my baby clothes, but he was, his stomach running, vomiting, you know, he was helpless. So we, they admitted him the next morning, as God could have it, he got healed. So I told my husband, he said, we should go to South Africa, you know. I said, no, we have to come here to Nigeria. This is our first time here. So mm. I said, we have to come and testify the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, lastly, can we hear a word of uh, advice from you? Yeah, I would advise people around the world that has got addictions to cigarettes, drugs, alcohol. Change your life to God because only God can, can deliver you from this evilness. Because it's an evilness. It's a spirit that's not supposed to be in your body. But turn yourself to God. Because God can do wonders. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Glory be to God. And also want to encourage you. That uh, now that Jesus Christ has proven his power in your life. It is not enough to come to Jesus. To receive help and spiritual healing. The man of God, Prophet Steve Joshua, says, when we are healed, blessed, or delivered, we must follow Jesus Christ, who is the healer, the blessing provider, and make his word the standard for our lives, so that whatever we receive from him will be permanent and even multiply in Jesus' name. So we pray God Amen. will give you the inner grace to make the word of God the standard for your life and for your family 
In Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Click on the link below to visit my blog where you will learn more about TB Joshua, listen to countless testimonies, and get clear step-by-step -step instructions on how to visit Skoans to get your free and permanent healing with just a touch. And if you don't have the means to visit Skoans, don't worry I will tell you what to do to get your healing in your home. This is free support, I need nothing from you in return. I am just helping. You have nothing to lose, just give it a try and you will be amazed as I was. Let me know if you need any help. I am waiting for your testimony. Please subscribe and visit my channel to watch many amazing healings that will blow your mind, give you hope and prepare you for your own healing.